I'm Jennifer from Unveiled Wife, and today we have Tama with us, who is going to um, just share a little bit about her life story with us and how Wife After God has impacted her. And so, um, Tama, hi, how are you? Good, and you, Jennifer? Doing well. Um, could you please share with the community just a little bit about who you are? Um, I live in the South. I'm a mother to a 16-month-old baby boy. Um, and my husband and I have been married for three years on tax day. Awesome. Well, um, we have something in common because my son's 16 months old as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, you know, I'm really excited to jump into uh, this interview with you because um, we're doing chapter six, which is the reconciliation chapter, and it's all about how... Um, you know, Christ reconciled us to God and provided a way for us to experience true intimacy with God. And, and then the chapter goes into talking about how we can also um, experience that same ministry of reconciliation in our marriage. So can you share with us just um, maybe something that stood out to you in that chapter? Um, I wasn't familiar with the ministry of reconciliation. Uh, I knew you know, that God calls us always to forgive, but I never thought of it as my ministry. I think I'm always in search on what my ministry is, and it's clearly, very clearly laid out that part of my ministry is to have reconcili reconciliation with my husband and with others. Yeah, I mean, it's such a beautiful story how um, Christ has redeemed us and provided that, that way to God. And, um, you know, I, I love that verse that in the focus verses, you know, where it talks about um, Christ giving us the ministry of reconciliation. And I thought how powerful to know as a wife that we have that ministry and, and to view our marriage as, um, as a ministry instead of just a marriage. You know, it is a, it's a ministry where we have the opportunity to, you know, be one with our spouse and to, um, you know, um, reveal God to them, you know, on an everyday um, basis and, and how we act and how we treat them. Now, um, you have a little bit of a unique situation and it's very specific to this chapter. So can you just go into a little bit about that um, to just share with the, the wives in the community? I'd be happy to. So my husband and I have been separated for about 10 months. Um, it's been very challenging. Um, it was shortly after, probably about four or five months after my son was born. So um, this topic means a lot to me uh, because of that nature. Um, I desire to reconcile with my husband. Um, you know, I think we've both gone back and forth on whether we want reconciliation and it's daily an issue um, would be an understatement. Every millisecond is an issue, um, and there's a lot of doubts that go on through your mind when things start going awry in your marriage, and I definitely felt those, but still knowing that I made a commitment to God, and I made a commitment to my husband, um, that I would make things work and to be faithful to our marriage, um, and I know my husband believes in those same vows, so I'm daily praying for reconciliation, but it's not always easy. Um, it's well, very difficult sometimes. I just, I commend you for being able to unveil yourself and to share with us um, such a, a sensitive and vulnerable um, situation that you're in. And, um, and I'm also really proud of you um, for being able to share because I think that there's a lot of listeners right now who are tuning in and saying, you know what, I relate to you and I understand. I understand your pain and I understand what you're going through. And I'm just going to ask right now that, um, that the women in our community would just pray for you and pray specifically for reconciliation in your marriage. And, um, and I also just pray for other wives who are in that same situation that, you know, um, you do desire reconciliation and you do desire to be one with your husband. And for whatever reason, um, you're just experiencing hardship right now. So um, can we all just take a moment and um, put some prayer, prayer, prayers out there for everyone? Um, Tama, is there any way that you can um, encourage women uh, going through this type of situation and, and maybe how you're getting through it and 
things that they can do while they're um, while they're praying in faith for their husbands? Mm-hmm. Um, I think first of all, it's important to recognize. I, I guess everyone's different, but I had a long period where I was saying divorce, 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 and it was more um, pain that I was going through that I just wasn't discussing with my husband. Um, and then once we've been separated, I, I actually, as difficult as it is, considered a blessing because it's been able, allowed me to be more close to God and to really focus and to see things that I couldn't see um, in that point in my life. And things that have encouraged me definitely just involving myself in much in the Word, going to church, um, listening to uplifting music 24 7. Um, going to bed listening to the Bible because I have a toddler and sometimes I'll admit hard to read the Bible mm-hmm. um, uninterrupted and not be exhausted at the end of the night and having support people and people that you're accountable to so I have um, a young lady that I'm accountable to and I talk things through and when there's difficulties with my husband and I um, and I'm at my wit's end I call them I call my aunt and uncle who are like my second mother and father to me um, because my parents are well my mother's deceased and I don't have a great relationship with my dad so that's really grounded me Mm -hmm. Um, I was also out of church for a while and going back and finding a church community where they accepted me and didn't question Um, they've never asked they never questioned they just loved me Um, and that's helped me get through these days those are all really great tips, and I think that um, women listening will be able to take those and, and hopefully implement them in their lives if they're not already. And, um, you know, one of the things that you said is during this time of separation, you've been able to draw closer to God. Can you explain a little bit more about how drawing close to God has actually um, impacted your um, desire to reconcile with your husband? Um, I think, you know, when you're going through those hard spots, it's really easy to say, well, you did this wrong, and you did this wrong, and it's all your fault, and if you change this, everything will work out. And it's really opened my eyes to some of my own faults and where I am responsible to. Um, you know, God will hold us both accountable. And there's this song that we've been singing in church, and it really resonated with me, Almighty God, um, that I won't be the first one to cast blame or stones. And that just really hit me because I thought, how many times have I blamed my husband or was quick to throw stones, the first one in line? Um, And that I'll be standing alone in front of God, exposing my entire heart. And that's truly what I desire to do. Um, I'm not fully there yet, (laughs) but that's something that I'm working towards. That is so beautiful. Um, Tama, thank you so much for just your vulnerability. And um, as we wrap up this interview, can I just ask you to share maybe something that God's been teaching you in your life or something that you can encourage the Unveiled Wife community with? Um, I definitely, this has been on my mind the past couple days. I think I've done a lot to try to please other people. And as wives and mothers, we want to be the best mother and the best wife. you know, so we're constantly concerned about what people are going to think about how we're raising our children, or what people will think about um, what we said or didn't say, or what we did and didn't do with our husband. Um, and it really hit me one day at work. I was fasting for my marriage, and I was so nervous about everything that was going on. And it hit me. I'm like, why am I so nervous? And it was just like God speaking to me, saying, "It doesn't matter what they think." The only person that matters what they uh, thinks is me, um, God, and it's not what everyone else thinks. Um, you know, I'm accountable to God, I'm accountable to my husband, to my children, but, you know, if someone doesn't like something that I'm doing, it's, it's not the end of the world. And I think that's really what um, God's been speaking to. Don't always worry about trying to please other people. Make your main focus pleasing God. Mm, that's so good. Well, thank you again, Tema, for just taking the time to be with us and to share your heart. And I am praying for you. I'm praying that God's will would, um, you know, would manifest in your life. And I am praying for reconciliation for you and your husband. And um, just thank you. I thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, bye. Bye.